Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the database SQL coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist and you want to start from the beginning, I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, start from the first video if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to the arcade. I'm going to go to databases. So we were still on this section here, selecting what to select and we were on check expenditure number 62. Your boss knows that you're a good programmer and then you're responsible. She's given you a big task to check the company's expenditure automatically. You're given the table expenditure plan which describes all the planned expenditures and the table allowable expenditure which describes the amount that can be spent in certain time periods. The expenditure plan table contains the following columns. So you've got the Monday date, uh, the unique date of the Monday of the corresponding week, expenditure sum, the sum of the planned expenditure for the corresponding week, uh, and all dates in the table fall in the same year. Okay, so the allowable expenditure table contains the following columns. So you've got an ID, you've got a left bound, which is the unique left bound of the time period uh, based on by the number of the week, uh, which is one based. And then right bound is the unique right bound of the time period represented, et cetera. And value is the allowable sum that can be spent during the given left and right bounds, inclusive, meaning including uh, top and bottom weeks. Segments of the time periods don't intersect with one another. The weeks are numbered sequentially from the first week. Week one is the first full week of the year, meaning that it's Monday as part of the current year. Your task is to return a table with the columns ID and loss, where the value of loss is either zero, if the expenditure limit with this ID was not exceeded, or the amount of money by which the, expenditure, the planned expenditure exceeds the allowable expenditure sorted by ID. Okay. So you've got this expenditure table here. Uh, so we've got these dates, which are the Monday of the week, and the amount of expenditure that they had in that week. And then in this allowable expenditure table, they've got a left bound, which represents the week of the year that that uh, period starts. And the right bound is the week of the year that that period ends, and the value that is allowable for that uh, period of weeks. And they just want a table of ID, and then so you sum these up. So for this one, it would be 22. 10 plus 12 is 22. Uh, which is between this five and eight week bound. And so since 22 is less than 30, you put zero. Uh, in this case, so this falls between the 23 and 26 week bucket. Uh, for these two, and that's 18, uh, when you sum up five and 13. And that's greater than the 10, so you take 18 minus 10, so you get eight, and that's what you put there. All right, so how do we do that in code? Uh, let's go over here. I'll just expand this a little bit. Um, so first I did, uh, as I, let's do the join first here. So I'm pulling in the expenditure plan and I'm giving it an alias of EP. And I'm joining that to the allowable expenditure, AE. Uh, and I'm joining that on, I'm taking the week number of this Monday date using that week function. So this is gonna be, give me a number between 1 and 52, since there's 52 weeks in the year, uh, and the 2 means that it starts on a Monday. And that's got to be greater than or equal to the uh, left bound. So these two end up going into here, and then the same thing, it's less than the right bound right here. So if it falls between 5 and 8, or equal to 5 and 8, uh, then it's going to join those. So, and then in the select statement, I just have the ID, and I put this if statement, so uh, it's evaluating, looking at the sum, so it's going to join and do the sum of those uh, expenditure values. Uh, and then uh, it's going to take a sum of the distinct AE value, um, so here you'll see this. Because this is going to join uh, multiple rows, so this row is going to give you a join, so there's going to be a row that has this 
this data and then also this row will have the same data. You have to do distinct because if you do uh, a sum, then that will not work correctly. Just a regular sum will not work correctly. So if that's less than or equal to zero, we'll put zero, or else we'll take uh, the difference there. All right, so, and then you just group it by the, the ID from the allowable expenditures table and ordered by uh, the ID. If we run the test, we'll see that we get the correct answer. So I hope you guys are able to follow along with that and I hope you guys uh, join me for future videos. Thank you very much.